Now this one's, this is our prototype. This was our prototype fixed cabin that we started with. Uh, it's on a 2014 Sprinter 3500 cab chassis. Uh, this was started, it's embarrassing. We started it in late, it was November, December 2016. Oh wow, it's been out a while. It's well, been being built it's for, been a while. Being built for a while. <laughs> it's something that we've just yeah. been doing, uh, my business partner and myself, whenever we had spare time, we'd work on it. But with everything else we've had going on, we just haven't had a lot of time to, to deal with it. So we finally ran it through the shop here. It just came out a week ago. Uh, it's, it's embarrassing, but... <laughs> hey, at least you is. took your time and did it right. Yeah. It, it's a prototype <laughs> unit of our fixed yeah. cabin. We Prototypes. Made it for our production mm. uh, 2019 uh, fixed cabin, we've made a number of big changes to this fixed cabin. Cool. So, so let, let's go from front to back and, and educate the folks on what this is, because there's a lot of guys out there that may not even know what this is. Right. So engine, uh, four wheel drive, all that stuff. Talk about sure. that first. Well, actually, uh, this is the, again, it's the Sprinter cab chassis. So in North America, you cannot get a four wheel drive Sprinter cab chassis. You get a four wheel drive van, but not cab chassis. That's right. So yeah. you're going to shout out to guys at like White Feather, uh, Univan. Uh, those guys are able to do four-wheel drive conversions on these. I think they're somewhere, don't quote me on this, somewhere between $25,000, $30,000 respectively US yeah. uh, to make the conversion. This one is still a two-wheel drive. We have, okay. not, we have not done the conversion. Um, the cabin itself, it's about 13 and a half feet long. Mm -hmm. Standard are, are seven feet wide. We, we really stick to that seven feet wide. It doesn't matter what we're doing. Mm -hmm. This trailer is seven feet wide. Uh, what engine's in here, by the way? Oh, sorry. Uh, it's the uh, it's the V6 diesel, three liter. Is it a so it's turbo diesel? Yes, it is. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And you know, it's uh, it's a very capable little motor. Um, oh, yeah, lots of torque. Yeah. I, I, right. I could use some help on the torque end, quite honestly. Really. But um, outside of that, though, it's, not, it's yeah. not so bad. It's not so bad. Video <laughs> bombs here, but. Uh, so we brought it down to the show. The reason we brought it down to the show is, again, to show people what we can do. Yeah. It is a prototype, so it's got some mistakes on it. Uh, some folks can find them, most can't. And, uh, <laughs> gotcha. But we're, we're selling it down the show here. We're cool. selling it for 150000 Canadian. We're just going to recover our costs out of it. Uh -huh. And then we're taking that. That's funding our prototype mm -hmm. for the 2019 production model. Cool. Let's, let's fly around the outside and then work our way inside. Yeah, sounds good. So first off, I already noticed you guys already put some beefy tires on there. That that was that's always yeah, a good start. Yeah, we're big fans of the uh, the the KO2s. A little more grip. Uh, Man, I love that rack too, by the way. Holy thank crap, you. that's a beefy rack. Again, with everything that we're doing, anything that's added on the outside, it's all aluminum. There are no steel products used. I, I remember uh, on the TDK, yeah, saying that that rack system was just insane and you guys carried that over to this as well exactly actually every product whether it oh be you guys all have those racks whether okay, it's a sprinter awesome. where it's a, a removable cabin it doesn't matter what it is uh, it's the same you'll see the same style roof rack on everything that, that is do. cool yeah. very cool under underneath we've got uh, aluminum under deck cabinets for storage loads of storage mm -hmm. underneath this thing right. so the the cabin itself again i said 13 and a half feet long for the cabin seven feet high seven feet wide those are all external dimensions nice so inside six foot eight mm -hmm. by six foot eight tons of room lots of room lots of room nice big windows too here bring the outside in absolutely absolutely um you, got, you, you pull out your cartridge for your porta potty right here uh, this is this is one of those this is the you know this is again it's a prototype it's something that we had originally designed and then we we changed it so now you got this little mystery box, <laughs> right? But that's prototype. Yeah, right? that's what happens so when you build a prototype, right? Exactly. So again, the aluminum ladder, uh, steel bumper, not aluminum. I did say all aluminum on the outside, uh -huh. but it does have the steel bumper. Uh, we manufacture all that stuff in-house, mm -hmm. powder coat in-house. We upholstery in-house. We wire, we plumb, we fabricate, we weld, uh -huh. cut, we form. And rem remind else. the guys where you guys are from again. What city is it? We're in Red Deer. Alberta. Red Deer, yeah. Alberta, Canada. Smack dab between Edmonton and Calgary. Nice. Let's take a look uh, on the inside and sure, see what's going on here. By the way, look at this ladder, by the way. This thing is, look at that. Yeah, anytime your foot's going to be going onto something, uh -huh. we use anti-skip powder. This is actually glass, oh, that's right. it's glass yeah. or rubber. 
That's why it glitters as it does that. That's all the glass. Your foot's actually, not gonna slip off. You can exfoliate skin with that. So. But you're not, yeah, you're not gonna slip. Your foot's muddy, it's raining, it's whatever. Uh -huh. You're safe. Safety first. And this is strong, right? Like this yeah. Is, it's not going anywhere. It's like industrial grade, man. Exactly. I definitely I do work with a lot of people. Manual do. stairs, we don't do electronic mm -hmm. stairs. Because the yeah. electronic can fail. It can fail. Yeah. So everything, we, we try to keep it as simple as possible. Keep it simple, stupid, right? This door is a, worth talking about as well. Double latching. It's an ambulance door for the ambulance. Ah, ambulance. nice. But very robust, very strong. Well, come on in. <laughs> so, so this is the inside. This is what you got. Um, again, we've added some foam here on our extrusions to provide a thermal break because the extrusions go right through to the outside. Mm -hmm. So this, that's what this EPA foam is here for, is to, is to provide that thermal break. Works fantastic. Uh, everybody loves it. So. I would assuming in the cab on the Mercedes, all these chairs swing around, right? They do. They swivel. Oh, okay, okay, nice. Okay. Everything swivels here. You can actually add another. The table's not on for the show. Mm -hmm. but a little lagoon table sits here. What am I looking at right here? Is that an, a gasket as well? It is a gasket. So we've actually got two gaskets. We've got one on the outside and then this one on the inside. Uh, just to eliminate any uh, redu it's redundancy for to, to eliminate wind, moisture, etc. Mm -hmm. it's, it's very nice to open. Nice easy pass through. Yeah, nice big open space. It does, yeah, it's, it's nice. So again with all of our cabinets, same old thing, right? Starboard doors, aluminum positive closed latches, uh, lots of storage. You got a nice wardrobe closet there. Nice big hanging closet. You betcha. Yeah. And the you gotta you gotta check out this galley. I mean it is I like this wood, look at that. It's nice. Yeah, put your block on the top. Um, the nice L shape, you got tons of storage, loads of storage. Now with our 2019 model, we're gonna get even more storage because right now, this is a four season cabin. Mm -hmm. So everything, all your systems, et cetera, et cetera, are all inside the cabin. Mm -hmm. So our 2019, we're gonna do an aluminum subframe. We're going to recess things like water, your fresh water, your gray water, batteries, etc., down into the frame of the vehicle. So lowers the center, helps lower the center of gravity of the vehicle as well, mm -hmm. but also gives us more, the, the ability to give, give the customer more storage inside, which is a really nice feature. But again, it's all the same. It's the same everywhere. It's, it's, it's all the same stuff. Nothing has really changed. Aluminum cabinetry, all powder coated. Uh, gonna last you forever. This one's got a really interesting bathroom. Wow, this is a, <laughs> that is it's awesome. A, it's a dry bath, it's not a wet bath. So if you, yeah. come, if you come past me, you can actually see the sink on this side. That is like cool. It's, it's sweet. So you got a little sink so you can brush your teeth, shave, all that good stuff. You bet. And you don't have to worry about everything getting all wet because you have a separate shower. Yes, and if, again, you're, nice. so floor to ceiling inside, you're six foot eight. So even with that shower, you're going to lose about six inches there. So six foot two, six foot three, uh, you've got ample room inside that shower. That is nice. What is that, redwood down there? Teak. Teak. Oh, yeah. there we go. Yeah, teak's got lots of oils in it, so it never rots. That's right. But, uh, and then we'll over here, lots of storage above the uh, above the bed. It's just an oversized double. That's what you've got here. And going up. Oh, wow. Storage. storage. Lots of storage. So, you got the removable tote. You take that in the house with you. Mm -hmm. Got your laundry, whichever. Underneath here. You'll see your, there's your Wabasto dual unit, uh, hot water and uh, uh, cabin heat, all in one. Very nice little system. Lots of storage, so got additional storage down on this side. Uh, that's what the table's sitting right now, but all your systems, see that's what I'm talking about in this is that a water one. tank? It, yeah. You How many gallons is that? Uh, the fresh one, I think you're 56. Woo. 56 on this one. Yeah. yeah. So actually on our, our 2019 model, we'll probably get more mm -hmm. more water than that because uh, we've got more space to work with underneath that. That's, that's basically water. what limits your time out in the back country is how much water you can bring, right? You're right. So the more right. you bring, the more the longer you can stay. Exactly. Very cool. But all those systems will be gone away. So you're going to gain so much storage now mm -hmm. for 2019. We're pretty excited about it. 
as are our customers. We got we got some customers who are just waiting for that one. The same thing on inside, all aluminum drawers on uh, on slides, push to open, push to close. Oh, so they're not going to pop open. Yeah, exactly. Locked. We don't have that problem. This thing is whisper quiet, going down the highway. Yeah. You know, I don't know if you've ever had a Class A or Class C motorhome. Mm. The conventional stuff built out of Indiana wood. Stuff starting to it's creaking, move around, it's creaking. Rattling, it's doing all that stuff. <laughs> yeah. This is whisper quiet. Nice. It's very nice. Nova Cool fridge. It's a big uh, fridge. In Canada, very efficient, uh, very very efficient fridge. And of course, lower Got a freezer. freezer. And they'll they'll come in a couple different combinations of this. But I like the separate freezer. freezers. I've seen some that have the uh, freezer built in inside. This yep. is just a way better option. You bet. And just more storage. Yeah. Again. There you go. We try to offer as much storage as we can. So we know people like to pack. Yeah. Right. Yep. So. Absolutely. So again, so this one is for sale at the show, right? It is, yeah. How much is this one going to be going for? I think you said one, about 150? 150,000 Canadian, so that's about 118 US. Uh -huh. So somebody's going to drive, somebody's coming away with a bargain. Yeah. Because it doesn't matter where you go on the grounds today, uh -huh. you are not going to find a composite cabin yeah. it's a deal. like this. Yeah. yeah. You can get it converted to four wheel drive and you're still going to be under 150,000 US. Yeah. You, you can't touch that. I saw a guy with a Dodge it. truck and a pop-up camper yeah. for the same price. Yeah. And this blows this one, blows, yeah. blows that one away. Yeah. But this is, again, we're just doing, we're getting, uh -huh. we're, we're selling this one at a cost. Sure. So 2019, yeah. the cabin, 200,000 Canadian plus the chassis. Yeah. So that really demonstrates what a bargain this is. Yep. So. Very cool. Right on, man. Check out our website, sign up for our newsletter. We got some really cool, like, really cool product coming up. It's going to be a hard wall pop-up cabin that's going to go on the back of a truck or onto a purpose-built trailer frame. Two different sizes. You're going to, if you just pan over on this, right, you got a stubby frame here. That's our old TDK. You're actually going to get uh, the option of having two trailer frames that this, this hard wall pop-up cabin will go on short version like this or long in case you want to put dirt bikes adventure bikes wow. atvs side by sides whatever you want you <laughs> that's can put it on cool. there i can't wait to see that the cabin's yeah. going to be about nine feet long uh, it's going to be something that's really really cool yeah. so look out you for don't that. see those very often i haven't no, seen any no this is uh, something we're really excited about it's going to replace our it's going to be our, our replace our tdk it's also going to replace our uh, removable expedition cabin Nice. It's gonna be cool. All right, so let's uh, no let's problem. end this with a, a website, like you like usual. Absolutely. Uh, come visit us overlandex.com. We'd love to love to have you sign up for our newsletter. If you want to talk to us, give us a call 403-346-9199. And, uh, and if they want to stop by in Canada, if they hey. happen to be in the area, what's your address out there? Always always <laughs> pop in anytime. One four zero eight three one nine Childs Industrial Avenue. We're right in Red Deer, Alberta. Come visit us. We're close to the Rockies. Your dollar, your American dollar goes farther in Canada, man. Come up and see us. Yeah. Tour around. There we go. Thanks. All right, guys. So there you have it. That was a detailed tour of Overland Explorer booth at Overland Expo in Flagstaff, Arizona. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please hit that like button, like the video, and leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about these guys. Pretty awesome.